Hey friend, Graham here from recordingrevolution.com. Today let's talk about overwhelm as a DIY musician. Specifically, I'm gonna give you three tips that are helpful to me to help eliminate overwhelm. Now, you may not think you're overwhelmed, but chances are very good that you are. If you are a DIY musician, writing your own music, recording your own music, mixing your own music, releasing your own music, doing your album artwork, promoting your own music, you are doing all the things, and that's probably not your full-time job. Some of you are really, really fortunate that is your full-time job, but most of you, that's not. Uh, you've got a day job or you run a business in addition to this. You probably have a family or at least family members and friends that you are in community with, and there's things that you do, and so you're trying to squeeze in your music making in your home or bedroom studio nights or weekends or early mornings if you're an early riser, like some of you are, which is pretty cool. Some of you are literally waking up at four or 5 a.m. to squeeze in some time in the studio. I don't know how you do it. I can barely get out of bed at 5 a.m., but all I'm getting up to do is drink some coffee, read my Bible, and pray. I'm not like being creative, but some of you can do that. All that being said, that is a lot to squeeze into your routine. And if you're like me, you can, white knuckle it for a while and be like, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to hang on for this crazy ride called life and I'm going to try to do all the things in my studio. But at some point you hit a wall. And a lot of times I hear this from my students. They say, hey, I was watching your stuff for years and then I got burned out on music, moved on with my life and I have come back and now I'm in a season where I'm interested in music again. And that's cool too. There are seasons for music, but one reason why there are seasons is that we burn out. We get overwhelmed. It's just too much. We're not seeing the success we want with our music. We're not happy with the progress. And it's like, screw it. I'm just, I'm just gonna watch Netflix or I'm just going to watch sports or I'm just going to do something else. So if that feels like you in any way, shape or form, one of these three tips or all three should help you. Tip number one, don't do everything yourself. Just stop it. I know that is your tendency. That's why you're here. You're here because you want to record your own music, mix your own music, do it all yourself. But I'm telling you, as much as we can do it all ourselves, that doesn't mean we should, okay? You should collaborate with someone in some way, shape, or form. We've been talking about EPs all of January, and one of the things I was talking about was collaborate. That might mean just work with another musician. Don't play all the instruments yourself. Don't put that pressure on yourself, right? If you're not a great drummer or even a great drum programmer, then don't do that. Like, hire a drummer or find a friend who's a drummer or someone who can program drums for you and collaborate. If you record everything yourself, don't mix it maybe. Maybe hire someone to mix it, or if you have a really talented friend, Swip swap skills or, or whatever services, if they can mix for you, have them mix for you. If you can record for them or do something else for them, do that, but have someone else mix. Don't try to be on every single social media platform. It is a giant waste of your time. Pick one or two, one or two that you're gonna live on. You cannot do all platforms well. They're all different. They require a different set of skills. Just pick the one or two that you enjoy and do those one or two. All I'm asking for you to do in this tip is to simply eliminate a few things from your routine music-wise that you're trying to do on your own and outsource them to a friend, hire someone else, or just stop doing them entirely like all the social media platforms. Don't do everything yourself. Tip number two, split up your month and or year into phases. I'm a huge proponent of compartmentalization where it helps me, right? You can't compartmentalize all of life because some things are intertwined, but when it comes to your schedule, especially if you're a creative, which we are, to do creative work, you cannot simply do it all all the time. We have a sort of mental capacity, right? We have cognitive capacity that is either used up or has some left in the tank. It's not always on. If we're always on, we burn out either physically, mentally, or creatively, and that's not good for your music or your career as an artist or engineer. So to help yourself, don't do all the things in your studio all the time. Have different phases or blocks. This can be as simple as time blocking throughout the week. Like if you're full time, like I'm a full time engineer, musician, content creator, business owner, I have a couple of brands. 
I have a lot of things I'm doing all week long, and so I have to time block my week, right? I have to shoot videos on one day. I have to create content for my paid memberships another day. I have to do podcasts and interviews and coaching another day. I have to split the tasks up so that on the days I'm doing the thing I said I'm gonna do, I can be all in on that thing. So it can be weekly if that's a lot of time that you have to chop up, but a lot of us are doing it in the wee hours of the night, like we said, so think long-term. Think monthly throughout the year. Like, for example, this month could be a songwriting month for you. Just forget about recording, forget about mixing, forget about really promoting heavy, just write songs. Just give yourself the freedom to not do all the other things, to not even be on social media for the month, to just sit in your studio whenever you get 30 minutes or an hour and just write. Play with sounds, grab your guitar, grab your bass, grab a keyboard controller and play with some synth or some weird patches. Just create and that's all you have to do. Then the next month, Take some of the best stuff you wrote and then focus on just recording, just capturing sounds, layering the sounds, building out a song. Don't worry about mixing and plugins. Don't worry about mastering or promoting your music. You're just capturing stuff with a microphone, like good old fashioned recording. See, block it out, right? Then you could have a month on mixing. Then you could have a month on promotion or you could cycle through those or you could have longer chunks. The whole point is break things up so you can focus on one core thing and go all in on that until you get burned out on that thing and then you can move on to something else. I don't write songs all the time. I write for a period of time when I really wanna produce new music and I get excited about the new music and when the whole process is over, I give myself a break and then when I feel the itch again, I come back and write again. See how that works? Block your time. It really, really helps reduce overwhelm. And tip number three to reduce overwhelm as a DIY musician is very similar. It's related to tip two, and that is to focus on one goal at a time. I am sure you want to accomplish a lot with your music. You probably want to get better at recording. You probably want to write better songs. You probably want your mixes to sound better. You probably want to get some traction online as an artist, but you can't crush it at all of those things at once. I am a big fan of focus, and the best way to get focused is to pick one target, aim at it, when you hit it, move on to something else, instead of trying to spread your energy thin and accomplish a lot of goals at once. It's not that your other goals are less important, it's just that the way you accomplish all your goals is to do one at a time, okay? So for example, if your goal this year is to get 10,000 streams on your single, you're really proud of it, you're really focused on promotion, then why don't you focus all your efforts right now on that goal of getting 10,000 streams as opposed to selling a bunch more merch or getting more album sales or getting more press or writing new songs or getting your song synced somewhere. Those are all great goals but just focus on the 10,000 streams. That's a pretty hefty goal in and of itself, but it's doable if you just focus on that one goal until you hit it. There's a couple things that happen here. Focus leads to momentum. Momentum is addictive and rewarding. When you feel yourself getting momentum, getting closer to a goal or achieving a goal, it propels you to work on the next goal. It's self-fulfilling prophecy, it's self-motivating, it's a really powerful effect. The opposite is also true. When you are trying to reach a lot of goals at once and you aren't reaching any of them, you start to feel discouraged and you don't feel like waking up and attacking your goals and eventually you stop pursuing all of the goals and you burn out, shut down, and you move on. And the music and recording and promoting your art becomes a thing that you used to do, but now you do big boy, big girl stuff like go to your job. And that's an important thing, but you shouldn't let your dream die. You shouldn't let your hobby die. You shouldn't let your passion for creating art just for the sake of creating art die just because you didn't get any momentum and you spread yourself too thin. Focus on one goal at a time and ride the wave of focus and momentum. There you have it, those are my three tips for helping you to eliminate overwhelm as a DIY musician. Curious, let me know in a comment below which of those tips, one, two, or three, do you resonate with the most and why? Which of those are you going to implement and why. I want to have a conversation below, so leave me a comment and let me know. And hey, if you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe, means a lot, lets me know that it's resonating with you. Have a great day, make some great music, get focused on one little goal, don't get overwhelmed. You've got great art, I want you to share it with the world. We've got to stay productive in our studio, so if this helps you do that, 
then good. I'll see you on another video real soon.